okay, 24 hours. Well, not even 24 hours later here. Bass are in the fridge. We're going to pull those out, put some buttermilk on them, and uh, bake them up here. Something mild. I've got to tell you, it's been 40 years since I've eaten a largemouth bass, and I don't remember what they taste like. Some people say they don't like to eat them. They say uh, they don't want to eat them, but we're going to give them a try and see what, uh, see what they taste like. We'll also pull those two pink fillets out and try those cooked the same way, but separately from the others and see if there's a flavor difference between the ones that were bled out in the boat versus the one that was not. We'll see. Um, let's find out what a largemouth bass tastes like. Gotta tell you, I was really happy with six bass of a pound or so each coming out with a pound and 13 ounces of, of fillets. That's plenty for two folks. Kept them overnight in the fridge for dinner the next day. Just packed airtight, no soaks, no silliness like that. And these fish, I got to say, they didn't smell at all uh, fishy. Took them out about an hour before I went to cook and just put them in a uh, buttermilk soak. Uh, just get make sure you get buttermilk on each side of them, and there you go. Then uh, just went with real easy, simple flavoring. Some lemon pepper, and then made an emulsion with some lemon juice and olive oil and a little bit of garlic. Yeah, I wanted, I didn't want it too strong, so just put about half a clove of garlic in there, and equal parts lemon juice and olive oil. You give that a good blend and. And there you go. It uh, flavors and, and puts get some oil on those fillets so they don't stick. It has double duty. And lemon pepper, i got to tell you, everybody keeps this stuff in camp. And it's not just lemon and rinds. It's got garlic and sugar and onion and all kinds of other stuff in it and salt. The buttermilk soak was great. You know, really... I just patted them dry for this use, but you could you could put, take them out of that buttermilk soak and and uh, bread them and fry them up, and they would be great that way too. We like to bake them like this. We do this for fish tacos. We do for everything else. You just swipe some on each side, give them a little seasoning and a little parsley on each side, then flip them on over and uh, and repeat, and uh, put them in the oven for about. Uh, 12 minutes for these it took about 12 minutes at 400 degrees and uh, they came out cooked real nice they were moist super flaky a little asparagus a little wild rice and uh, plated up looking pretty good you know and it was on for the big taste test uh, let you see how that came out okay audio blind taste test you have to tell me if you taste the difference between these two fillets she doesn't know which one is you know which one is which yeah Okay, here's sample number one. How do you like it? Nice and mild. Sample number two. Is there any difference? Mm -mm. See, there you go. No difference. Can I have my plate? Mild, white, flaky fish. And here's your dinner, honey. Thank you. <laughs>